people's parents are really concerned about how it will affect their children when they have to tell them that they're going to be having a divorce. So that it's not an easy conversation. But research says that if you keep these tips in mind, that it might help your children cope more. The memory of being told remains. So take time to think about the setting and the circumstances. Practice. Make sure what you're going to say. And it's better to do it over a weekend because then children have more time to assimilate the information. Research shows that it's better to tell everybody at once, to gather everyone and tell them the news. Don't choose one child because they're older and share the information with them first because it makes them the keeper of the secret and they might not be able to have the reactions that they need to have. Um, don't assume that you know how your children are going to react because we don't know and all reactions have to be welcome. Some might be relieved, some might be angry, some might get very worried, some might say, oh, what's the big deal? What's for dinner? So be aware that this is not one conversation, it's several. And they're going to have a lot of different emotions at different times, so check in with them often. It's really important that parents be mature when they share this difficult information. And that's really difficult because parents are also dealing with their own emotions and maybe their own grief. Maybe they've just decided and it hasn't been a decision. Maybe it's been precipitated by something. But research shows that if you, as a parent, can stay mature and not fight, not attack each other, not blame, that the children will cope better. They need a unified front. And the reason for that is that they don't want to feel responsible for the divorce and they also don't want to feel like they have to sh choose one parent over another. It's also important that you answer questions directly with facts and not blame. Have a plan. Logistics are important. Where, who's leaving, who's staying, what, what happens to the kids. Some children will even care about who's driving them to school, who's picking them up. This information might be, have to be shared all at once or in bite size. You have to be adaptable. Remember that maybe it's difficult for you to see your, parent, your children in, in pain and that you don't want to be just brushing over everything and trying to say, oh, everything will be okay, don't worry, because they need to be able to know that things might be difficult and that everybody is there to help them get through it. Remember that it's important if the children ask you, well, whose fault is it? Try to separate being a parent from being a husband and a wife. So maybe mom and dad weren't good husband and wives, but we'll always be good parents. So separate those two roles. Parents wonder what will happen to their children because they divorce. And it's really difficult for a parent because they don't want to cause pain and suffering. But suffering happens. And it's an opportunity for a divorcing parent to help their children deal with pain effectively. It's not an ideal situation, it's not what you plan, but in every difficult situation, there's an opportunity to grow and learn. If you're struggling with how to share this information with your children or your children are struggling after finding out about a divorce, at Alliance, we have people that can help you, guide you through the process.